Hey, welcome back to Rich's Rides. Um, today we're gonna to be changing out that pesky battery. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please do hit that like and subscribe button. Um, today I'm gonna to be changing out the, the, the flat battery. It's just completely dead. It doesn't hold a charge. I'm continually getting that increased battery drain um, warning on the dash. Um, I think it's the original battery, but I haven't actually taken it out yet, so I don't know, but we'll have a look. Um, I've gone for a, um, a 95 amp hour AGM battery. Uh, my, my charger will handle AGMs, um, but I don't know what's in there at the moment. Um, and obviously I'm gonna have to get it recoded as well, but um, let's first of all get that swapped over. Um, car's going in for its MOT this week, so I wanna see if they can do the recoding for me after I've done the MOT. But before I go outside, something very important I've gotta do. Finish off my favorite cup of tea. Um, get the tools and then hopefully open up that tailgate. I've had it on charge for a bit, so hopefully there's enough power to at least open that tailgate for us. Uh, we'll see. But um, again, this shouldn't be a very, very difficult job, um, but if the battery is completely flat, um, it does make getting access to the battery a little bit more difficult. So uh, we'll see what happens when we get outside. All right, I'll see you out there. Cheers, guys. So if your battery's totally flat, if you come in, come in through the boot, there's a thing here you pull, and it opens up. Um, cool, so I already actually removed this tray the other day actually. Um, I was looking at it. So there's only a couple of uh, screws to hold it in place. There's some in the bottom of the tray. But um, from previous work that's happened in the garage, it's managed to get broken a bit as well. So I might look at getting a replacement one of those. But if you take that out, let's move that to one side. There's your battery. Um, and it does look like original sealed battery, so what do we need? 10 mils? Right. You don't have to take them all off, just loosen them. And then that will just come off. And then just to be safe, put the post clamp on it so that it doesn't reconnect and do any damage. Um, you need a, so I can't use this banner on that, I'm gonna have to use this socket. And then there's also a bit down there. And that's one. So this is a 10 mil. Don't lose these, there's a strap that goes on here. Oh that's my uh, that's my charging. I wonder if I should put that onto the post instead. Oh that's a long one. Maybe that's why the charger wasn't working properly.
once you've undone those, this will then just lift out. Put them out of the way. So then your battery is almost free. What else is holding it down? Oh, there's one in there as well. So we do need 10 mil. So there's a post down here as well. free obviously it's tied down with these so take this one off and again you don't have to loosen it all the way just enough to get it so that the unit will come off oh there's some clips Holding this all together, do you have to remove this as well then do you? Take that off, take the bus off, what's that, 13? should then be hopefully the battery is now free although it's been a while um quite an important thing on these is can't see really can you there's like a vents hose that follows all the way through goes through a grommet down here if you can see it goes through the carpet so that vent hose needs to plug in so we need to reconnect that when we put the new battery in This should now just lift out. Yeah. Let's pop that out. Oh, bloody hell, that's heavy. So, this was the actual original battery, 18th of December 09. Not surprising it's given up the ghost, really. Um, so, that won't be an AGM, so I do need to actually get it recoded because I've got an AGM. Favorite parts store, half rods, um, AGM. So that's 90 amp power, and that's 90. Uh, ooh, that's okay. So that's got more cold crank amps, but it's 95. Yeah, absolutely fine. Cool. So that's the old one now. Let's put the new one in. So this vent hose just, can you even see? This should just push in this end. Very important to get that in, as I've been told a couple of times. Let's put these caps on to stop anything from um, what's next? Let's get the braces back on.
goes on last, doesn't it? Don't do that. So this should is the extension. So that's main connected, that torque down, brace fitted, battery's not going anywhere. Remove the cold cap, and on we go. I heard the doors go click click, that's a good sign. And that is battery changed. So I've got my charging cable, which I will feed through somewhere. Have that. Job done. Just got to put the battery tray back together, which is just a reversal of the same. Um, Button it all up, and away we go. So let's jump in the car and see if it starts. Yes, 
stability and X drive failure. No drive stability, traction restricted, drive. I really have the problem checked by the new BMW service. I suspect these are caused by the, um, by the power being so low. So let's um, get the code reader. Plug it in, clear the codes, and see if everything goes through okay or not. Let's go through the menus. So the car starts, which is a good thing. Let's put this tray back in. I don't know what I'm doing that for. So in my box of tricks, I've got this um, Ansel ODB um, ODB can reader. And um, what you need to do is just plug that into the ODB. Right. So in order for this to work, you need to have the key in the accessory position. Clear everything off. Interesting. Press enter key to continue. Steering system is not automatically adjusted to suit speed. So I've literally just driven up the road, turned around. The power steering was really heavy to start off with, which kind of explains that power steering assistance. But the uh, the warning light's gone off the dash, which is curious. So if I go into here, vehicle information, vehicle status, check control. No faults. Bingo. So basically, what I think has happened is the battery's gone completely flat. Everything's been drained, and a number of times where I've tried to like click the um, click the starter, it basically trips everything into thinking that it's just not happening. So changing the battery. Um, if they're the only faults you've got, the other stuff you can clear through the LEBC. Um, but if they're the only faults you've got, uh, I'll bring them back up on the screen. Uh, literally, I've driven maybe 100 meters, uh, just turned the car around, uh, and everything's okay now. So that is fantastic. Um, job done. Oil level nice and high, which is good. Fifty-five thousand miles. Um, jobs are good in. Excellent. And thankfully, that turned out really well. Um, having driven the car, um, everything sparked into life. Everything was great. There's no error codes on there at all now. Um, the one thing I, I do need to still do is um, get the battery coded. So the car doesn't know that I've changed the battery. It, it just knows that it's now got power. Um, it was the original battery. So um, I suppose it isn't really that surprising. I bought the car when it was 45,000 miles. It's now 55,000 miles. Um, it's the original battery so the intelligent 
charging control or whatever they call it in, in the BMWs um, will still think it's on the original battery so I'll be degrading the actual charge and I've gone from a, a lead acid battery to an AGM battery as well so I need to tell the car that it's different battery type it's got a different amp power and also that it's actually a brand new battery so that it can reset and start charging it accordingly and hopefully that'll clear all my issues and, um, and you know it's a bit tiring when you jump in the car after it's been sitting for a couple of weeks and you get the increased battery discharge or you, you go out down somewhere and um, you turn the ignition off because you're waiting for someone and after 30 seconds you get the increased battery discharge which is turn up so hopefully those are all the thing of the past now so um I've got to work out how I actually get this coded. I've got MOT coming up, so I might see if I can get them to do it. If they can't, uh, I know you can download the software. I've got an old laptop that I can use. I just need to buy a cable from um, Amazon or somewhere like that, and um, we'll get it coded. But I'm hoping we can just get the um, the MOT guys to, to do a quick code for us, um, and hopefully they'll do it properly. Uh, you never do know, do you? It's always better to do it yourself if you can. Hi guys, right, it's a couple of days later now and um, I've had the car over for its MOT and it's passed um, with flying colours. Um, they weren't able to do the battery coding for me either um, and I, I went down to the Halfords and they weren't able to do the battery coding and I went to a local garage and they weren't able to do the battery coding so I have to take care of that myself. Um, I don't really want to go to BMW for this sort of stuff so um, anyway, thanks for sticking around to the end, hopefully you found this useful. Um, the next episode will likely be coding the battery because I do need to get that taken care of. Um, if you're still here, give us a hash brown still watching in the comments down below. If you found this useful, please do hit that like and subscribe button. I've got a few more things coming up on this car. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next step. I'm going to start getting into some meaty stuff. Thanks for sticking around. Until next time. Cheers, guys.